Okay, well I finally got the piston and, and rod out of the cylinder here. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Probably reuse it, but I do have a new one here. It came with that kit, so I think I'm just gonna use this. Because why not? Might as well. And I'm just gonna like polish this up. Make that all nice and shiny. Because this actually unscrews from the uh the uh connecting rod in there. So I just had to get on it with a pair of uh, vice grips and kind of turn it until it came off. So I'm going to get that cleaned up and also and here is where it came out of. There's the bore right there and the shaft goes through there, the rod. And uh, I had to get this off. I had to have help getting this off because it was on there so tight and so long. I don't know what this straighter valve here is for, but uh, it's not in too bad shape. Just clean it up and put it back on and get the rest of the crap out of there and clean these valves up and then I can start putting it together. I'm also going to uh, take this wheel off and paint it and probably paint the base too because it's pretty nasty. And I drained the oil out of it yesterday. Uh, the oil is uh, in here. Can't tell if it's SA30 or SA20, but I got a whole bottle of SA20 right here on clearance at work, so I got it cheap. So I'm gonna use some of that. See how th the oil was dirty in this. Probably the original oil. I don't know if you can see down in there. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new gasket. It's just a paper gasket in here, and there's a gasket here. Here's where you fill it. Get some fresh oil in it, and this thing is like a packing or something. It, it screws on, to, I guess, to prevent water from leaking through here, which it was a little bit. So I think I'm gonna use either some pipe dope or some uh, Teflon tape and get that sorted out and uh, we'll kind of go from there okay well it's a bright and sunny uh, Thursday afternoon uh, I've got this all cleaned up just finished uh, washing it and stuff I'm gonna paint it I, I, I did want to leave it like some of the original paint on this but it's kind of flaking off and eh, I'm just gonna repaint it so just letting it dry now. I just degreased it. Uh, we have the top part uh, in some electrolysis right now. I'm trying to remove as much rust as I can. We've got it set to 12 volts, 2 amps. Seems to be doing its thing in here. I think the only part I'm not going to really worry about painting is that because the motor is going to be sitting on that and you won't really see it. And that way I leave a little bit of the original paint on at least. And over here, we have the wheel here. I just put about three coats on that. I'm going to let that dry and then flip it over and do the other side. And here I've got the other set of valves that I'm just starting to take apart. I'm going to clean this all up. Uh, we got the piston out the other day. And here's the old one, which not in bad shape but since I had a new one I replaced it anyway I only have one set of valves so these ones I'm just going to clean up and reuse and these are the ones that were in the lower end so that's going to probably get get thrown out or something well, I'm going to save everything here's here's the lower end that I already finished I'm going to try to save everything though because uh, you can't really get parts for these anymore once I'm done with the electrolysis on on that thing out there I'm gonna put this thing in there and then this thing and once that's all done then I can start putting it back together and of course I gotta paint this too so I'm gonna clean these up they'll be ready to go and then I'll just uh, start painting everything and get it back together and should be almost ready to wrap up in the next video and I think I'm gonna do a separate video on this motor because I got I went out to tractor supply where I work and I got one of these oil cans which goes right in here 
Or it's hard to do it with one hand, but it goes right in there like that. You can just squirt oil in there. But as you can see, years ago I pumped grease in there not knowing. So I might have to get that grease out of there. So that'll be another project though. I'll, uh, I'll work on that after I'm done with the main part of the pump. So uh, that's about all for now. I'll make another update when I get more accomplished.